Hi, my name is Scott Langford, and I'm the author of a new book called Tahoe Beneath the Surface. And one of the first things you'll learn if you read my book is you too can become what I call, half jokingly, a Tahologist. In order to become a Tahologist, you have to begin to notice the many ways in which Lake Tahoe is woven into American history. And you have to learn to look deep beneath the history and the stories of Lake Tahoe in the same way that you look beneath the surface of the lake. Tahoe is certainly vast enough from the surface, but its dimensions are far vaster when you dive deep below. It's one of the 15 largest lakes in the world, and the stories go right along with that. So within the pages of my book, you can find out how John Fremont, the man who quote unquote discovered Lake Tahoe, used that discovery to launch the Republican Party. In fact, on every Republican campaign poster for the first presidential election in which the party appeared, John Fremont crossing the Sierra was right there. And this was, of course, long before Lincoln became a major player. Or you'll find out how the Donner Party, a few years after that, um, actually shot and ate their Indian rescuers. You can find out how Mark Twain became Mark Twain in Tahoe Territory, and how Twain's transformation also helped to transform American literature. You can find out how John Muir, one of the primary founders of the American conservation movement, was transformed by his time in Tahoe. And certainly, we think of Yosemite when we think of John Muir, but we should also be thinking about Lake Tahoe and Muir's epic, if failed, battle to create a Tahoe National Park. You can think of how John Steinbeck launched his first novel, writing in a tiny cabin next to Lake Tahoe and how in this way Tahoe too is part of Steinbeck country. You can hear the story of how Bertrand Russell, who was England's most famous philosopher, spent the summer of 1940 during the Battle of Britain while Hitler was pummeling London, living in a tiny little cabin next to Lake Tahoe, sitting stark naked by his own description in the cabin at a typewriter writing his next book, which relaunched his career at age 70 and led him, just like John Steinbeck, to a Nobel Prize. You can find out how pop culture figures like Frank Sinatra and Marilyn Monroe spent their time in Frank Sinatra's mafia-owned casino by the North Shore and what that has to do not only with the election of the Kennedys, allegedly, but also perhaps with the Kennedy assassination. And you'll hear more about those conspiracy theories in my book. You can even find out how the fictional Ponderosa Ranch in the famous TV series Bonanza, one of TV's greatest all-time hits, helped to transform American culture as well. And finally, on the horrifying side, you'll find out how Tahoe acted as the epicenter of some of the most horrific race riots in American history. All this and more, if you come with me, you will find yourself taken on a journey beneath the surface and the stories will ripple out not just across what you understand about Lake Tahoe, but what you understand about your own country. So if you've never been to Lake Tahoe, this is the place to start. And even if you have spent your life at Lake Tahoe, you will find new surprises on every page.